There we are. Hey, we're live. Woo. All right, welcome everybody to episode number two of Medieval Dynasty. Can you hear me okay, Casper? I just want to make sure they can hear me. He says yes. Okay, great. All right. So. I'm going to. So we definitely need to cut down more trees so we can finish this resource yeah, building. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Because it's summertime now. And then what we could do... Once we've got resource storage up, we could tr prioritize trying to build an another house to uh, get our first worker. And I'll show you how to how to employ people. Oh, goody! Oh, there's my log. Yeah, it's quite simple actually. You just have a conversation with them and be like, "Do you want to come home with me?" And they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, okay." But you've got to have enough dynasty reputation. Well, um, uh, the, your dynasty reputation limits how many people you can have in your village. Oh. So if you've only got like 400 dynasty rep, you can only have a couple of people. But if you've got like 4,000, I don't even know if that's possible, but if you've got like 4,000, you can have a lot of people. What's the best way of uh, raising your... Raising that number. Getting your rep up. Um, it, the best way I've found is to do some of the quests for the villagers. And there'll be things like, oh, bring such and such 10 bees. Um, it's not bees. Like 10, I don't know, 10 rot. Or it'll be the main storyline, which is... Uh, the like the storyline quest, which uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but it's like one of them's like a treasure hunt for cups, and then there's like go here, do that. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Normally go here, do this. Go here, do that. Bring it all back to me, and then you're done. Like doing things like that, um, that gets your dynasty rep. But like I said here last time, if you get caught stealing. That's minus rep, which means that you've got to make that up again before you can get more people. So, Well, when you lose rep points and you already have people on your settlement, you don't lose the ones that you already gathered, do no. you? No. Okay. Like, if you lose too many rep points... Well, I'm not 100% sure because I've never experienced it because I've never really lost a load while I've had people in my village. But I don't think your villagers disappear. I think what it basically will do is it will we'll make you make up those points plus more before you can hire anyone else. But it might mean that your villagers can't have any children because there's no space for them. Right. Hi, Deanna. Welcome to chat. Hi, Casper. Oh, it's been a long time since Casper was in our chat. So we usually have to do in the afternoon uh, live streams in order for him to be... Able, but he his missus had a mishap this morning, so he's staying up until he finds news out about her. Yeah, hey, I found a wooden shovel stuck in the ground. Yeah, you'll find those lying around places. That might it might be near a clay pit. No, it might, might. No, there's no clay mound on the ground. I know what a clay pit looks like. Or sometimes you'll just find like random village, like tents and oh, random boxes random, and stuff yeah, like that. I I know. Or random barrels just at the side of the river, and it's like, uh, where did this come from? So, Is that a oh, that's a bird. Never mind. I thought it looked like a skunk for a moment. <laughs> I know. I found a random iron pickaxe just lying on the ground somewhere. But it only had like, I think it only had about 5% health left. On it, but, <laughs> so I just sold it. 
Well, I sold it after I did some science with it because I wanted to know if it would mine or cut things down any faster. And the better tools actually cut things down and mine things faster, but they also have more durability, which means that they'll last a whole lot longer. And because they take less swings to cut the tree down, it lasts even longer again because you're barely touching the tree to begin with. So it's like a double whammy. Picking all these berries. Need to rot. Deanna singing in chat. <laughs> Deanna, it is it's Tuesday today? Don't you get your nails done today? It might not be until next week. Oh yeah. Oh, she's already mm -hmm. counting the days down till May first when she get her boat in the water. Ah, uh, I mean, we all knew that was going to happen. Oh, Ca Casper's singing. My bad. It's Casper's who's singing to Pop Tart. I don't know why he calls her Pop Tart. <laughs> why does he call you Pop Tart? Were you eating a Pop Tart when you met him one day? I mean, how how did the name Pop Tart come up for you? That's I want to know. Oh, her nails are next week. You were right. You can join us in chat if you want. Right, that's resource storage built. I'm mean, gonna yeah, get this well put together as well. I just need one more log. I have a bunch of logs on me. I guess I can bring them back and get another house started if you want. Yeah, um, I'll place down a blueprint for another house so it's got a bit of space from yours. And then. Oh, that was a bit of lag. Rubber banded there for a moment. Hi, Shannon. Are you back home now or are you still in Africa? Welcome to the stream, girlfriend. It's been a while since I've seen your name in chat. Let me move this to a different number. Oh, I didn't make a pickaxe yet. Can I make a pickaxe? I can. There's a little bit extra space. That should leave for enough room. Pickaxe, knife. Can I make a And crafting. There we go. There's four blueprints for four new houses. Um, new tree. Oop, I need to go get more stone. Actually, I could probably go down here and get a lot more stone. Don't forget your alt vision. That'll help you find the stone. Yeah, but that's one piece at a time. 
And I just go up yeah. to like a rock formation and start hitting it and get limestone yeah, at the you, same time too. You can do, yeah. But I'd always check the ground when you're running around looking for the rock formations because you can pick up some extra stuff on your way. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Right, let me put this low. So generally speaking, what's the first worker you get to bring back? Uh, logs. You, you, logs. Okay, logs. <laughs> Always logs. <laughs> what's the hen bane used for? Um, it's used in the herbalist. Yeah. Um, workshop, I think. Deadly nightshade or, is a new one too. I see. Yeah, it's it's used for like potions and stuff like this. I've not really messed around with that yet. I started a single player game, Deanna, and actually killed a moose. I couldn't oh believe God. the amount of meat you got from that. It was like 55 pieces of meat per moose. And it took two arrows to get him down. I guess I must have hit him in the right spot. What are these? Nice. I'm going to move all the resource stuff out of both of our chests mm -hmm. and put them in um, resource storage. Now that it's finished. Oh, yeah, that's right. You felt the earthquake? In Vermont. Oh. Did you get aftershocks, too? I heard someone say that there were, like, 4.0 aftershocks or something. That does not sound good. There's a fishing net over here. Have a look around because it's probably an abandoned fishing camp and there might be some uh, fishing spears and stuff like this. Right, I'm going there. Actually, I'll keep my money in a minute because I'll go see if I can get fish. Put the berries in there until I get it. Ooh, there's some fish meat here and a wicker basket that let me pick up. Yeah. Iron knife. Ooh. Abandoned supplies. 86 coin, 3 flaxseed, and 1 rye beer. Oh. Well, I don't think there's anything here. I was kind of hoping it would let me pick up the fish net. Are these spears? Ooh, they are. I hit the mother load. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, there it is. White tailed eagle. Did a big lady jump over a wall somewhere in New Zealand? We normally don't hear about earthquakes on the eastern side of the U.S. It's usually over by California area. Yeah. West coast. But apparently uh, there's a 
There's a plate that the eastern side sits on too, so. Yeah, I'd be worried if you start getting earthquakes in areas that never had earthquakes before because, you know, climate change and all that. They breed them big over there. Casper, you're so bad. <laughs> oh. And there's another fox. I kill the fox in my regular game. They're kind of hard to get. Yeah, they run away too fast. This one's attacking me. He's about to die. See, it doesn't. It didn't pay you, buddy. It should have just stood still. Where'd he go? I lost him. Ooh, there's a bear over there. Not good. Well, I got 55 pieces of meat from a moose. I wonder how much meat I'd get from a bear. Um, a lot if you can actually kill it. Yeah, something tells me he won't go down with just two arrows. That, that's two bear. Oh, wow. There's two over there. Yeah. Generally, if you can say one of an animal, there's probably a few more somewhere in the air. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want to turn our backs on those. Unless we're further away. <laughs> Yeah, the bears in this game are like the bears in Icarus. Really? You want to stay, yeah, you want to stay away from them as best you can until you're equipped. Cause, uh... Well, I killed three boars on my single game with just a knife. Yeah, boars aren't too bad, but the bears... Yeah. They're, they're, they're not friendly at all. Oh, there's a another fox. Come here, buddy. Attack me because if you attack me, I get hit son on you too. Oh, another. Oh, he went. Ugh. When he died. Murderer. <laughs> I thought I seen a shack. Where's the shack I just seen? Did I see? Oh, there it is. Let's see if they confiscate anything from it. Wow, what are those little things? Are those little baby bears? I hope those aren't... Oh, those are rabbits, maybe? I don't want to go after baby bears to find out that mother comes and kicks my arse. <laughs> okay, that's blocked. I can't get into that hut. Hmm... Kill the rabbit. Ooh. Barrel. Ooh, more coins in a barrel and some straw. Who hides coins in a barrel? Someone who doesn't want them found. <laughs> who try to hide them from the government. Oh, I need to make a torch. Four flour and a bag. Any supplies? Rye grain. Oh. This being an ad profitable adventure. I would like to get in that house though, but the door's blocked. I can't get in. Sometimes there's a way to go through one of the walls, so you may have to 
climb up and try and get through the top. Um, two and a four, seven. Well, let me get that. Oosh. Um, okay. Right, I'll do for now, you know. A bronze sickle. Two of them, actually, so you could sell them if you want for money, I guess, huh? Yeah, the bronze and iron stuff at the minute's best to sell. But I did the fish check and I got with some fur boots. So I'll put a pair in your chest. And then we're starting to get ready for winter. Yeah, doesn't it? Isn't it expensive to buy stuff for winter? I mean, I looked at her prices and it's like, wow, that's expensive. Yeah, they were about five to six hundred each. So that's why I only managed to get boots. How much each? About five to six hundred coins. Oh, oh my god! How do I get off this chair? So. They're not cheap. How do I get off this chair? I told I, I said you, so I'm sitting on the chair, but how do I get back up? It won't let me back up. Um hang on a second, I'll have to sit on oh what have I got that I can sit on? I should just be able to hit W to get off of it. Yeah, for me it's right stick, but hang on. Actually, let's go to this. Let's take just Oh, never mind. Stand up X. Ah, uh, yeah, X. I seen that on the. I got a click right stick, so. That's weird. <laughs> Different. Right, so we need more locks. Let's go cut more trees. Hi Lizzie, how you doing? How's the day treating you so far? Welcome to the stream. Aww. Oh. Well, I've been in the hospital a lot of times over the years, and whenever I wanted a cof uh, coffee in the morning without breakfast, I used to just ask the nurses, could you give me a cup of coffee, please? They'll get it for you. All right, where is my house? Ooh, I found sand. I mean, clay. Ooh. Let's see, where's my shovel? Which one is my shovel? Eight. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you're in the hospital. How long do they intend to keep you, do you know? Do these clay deposits come back uh, next season, or is this something once you dig them up, they're gone for good? I think they'll come back. I think. And it stinks being in the hospital. 
hospital food is the pits, too. <laughs> it's not the best food. You know. So bland tasting and stuff. Any more clay? Any more clay? Any more clay? Stone. Oh, there's a, some more here. Not exactly digging. Hmm. Now you've got me wondering what it could possibly be that you can't disclose what it is. You'll get banned from YouTube. <laughs> yep, same here. Just get better. Get home. I think the most boring time in the hospital is when you don't have visitors and all you get to do is lay in the bed and watch TV. Yeah, I've been there. And... I never used to like walking around with the hospital gown either with my ass sticking out the back. That was never fun either. So I never really walked around the hospital much when I was in. I gotta say, I never had that experience. I used to ask the nurses for an extra, an extra robe. You know how they, they have yeah. you tied in the back and stuff. Well, I used to ask I for one. I plenty so of people doing it, but. Yeah, I used to wear I, two of them, one in the front and one in the back to cover my arse, but, yeah. yeah. I don't know why they have them like that. I honestly don't understand. I, I can understand possibly, like, when you're going into surgery, but, like, when you're off surgery and you're back in, like, a bed recovering, like, I don't understand why they can't give you something that covers your whole body. I know. Whereas I, when I was in hospital for a time, I either got wheelchaired around or I did get out of bed. So I was like fully clothed when I actually did get out of bed. Yeah, when the nurses are doing their rounds and they're too busy to watch you, we used to have wheelchair races. <laughs> yeah. Those were I used awesome. to do it all the time because the, ma the major time that I was in hospital was when I broke my leg. Um, so I, I couldn't walk anyway, so it was like wheelchair. So I never had a problem with like how it ended up showing me ass to everyone. But once I was getting released from hospital, that was the only time I actually got out and like walked around because I had to get dressed to leave. And I'm telling you, they do not put those casts on easy and make it easy for you to actually get dressed. Like those casts are big, bulky, and generally don't fit down a pant leg mm -mm. right i mean i remember i couldn't get in to me pants that bad uh my mom had to go to the local sports direct shop and she bought us some swimming shorts and yeah. got the net <laughs> <laughs> because normal shorts wouldn't have worked either so it was like swimming shorts are a lot baggier so she was like, I got you these, I'm just going to cut the net out. And she didn't bring any scissors, so she ended up using nail clippers out of our purse. <laughs> to cut this bloody net out, it was... Oh, the nurses were laughing. And I was like, well, I'm getting home one way or another today. Yeah. So I was sick at that point. And then I had an argument with them because apparently it was policy. They have to wheel you out of the hospital in the in the wheelchair right you slip on the right and you're on that property problem but then i was like all right great and i was thinking i'm gonna get to keep this wheelchair until i'm better oh no huh. i get out to the to the like the atrium bit where my mom had parked the car to pick us up and the nurse hands us some, these bloody crutches i was like how am i supposed to walk with them very like, carefully <laughs> you gotta be kidding this. i was like can i not keep the wheelchair no no this is the hospital wheelchair i was like and what I will say is, 
don't even bother trying to go upstairs. I know it's indignant, but if you ever break your leg, just sit on the stairs and like scoot yourself up backwards one at a time. Like, don't even try to walk upstairs with crutches. It's just not worth the risk. Like, it was horrible. That was the main reason I got so much time off school when I broke my leg as well. Because they didn't... Like, my school was over three different stories. And this is from horseback riding, right? Yeah. This was when I fell off the horse and I had a really bad fall. Um, but, obviously... Schools aren't really very safe places when you're like teenager to be like vulnerable and on crutches because like most teenagers they'll just bash into you and they don't think and they don't realize and it's not their fault. So there was a big chance that I was going to get knocked over while just walking down the hall, which was bad enough. But then when I was like, I can't go up or downstairs with my crutches and there's no lift, all staircases. Like, how am I even supposed to get from one end of the building to the other? Yeah, I remember because I, I did the same thing. I broke my ankle horseback riding. I had to get a friend. I asked, I went to the office and asked if one of my friends could carry my books and stuff from class to class for me. And the teacher was really nice because the teachers would let us out earlier than, you know, before the bell rang. Yeah. Giving me an opportunity to get closer to the door of the next class before the whole hallway went nuts mm -hmm. with kids. But yeah. I actually said breaking your ankle is more painful than breaking your leg. Yeah, I heard that too. It because was painful. Your ankle, mo your ankle moves a lot more. Like, it's a joint. I think breaking a joint is so much worse than breaking a an actual, like, static bone. I don't know why. It's just Always well, plus, even though you're on crutches, or at some point in time, you're going to have to put that casted leg down and put yeah. weight on it, and that's yeah, that's no picnic. And, and the joints are a lot, are a lot more flexible naturally, anyway. So every little movement hurts when you've got any kind of broken bone. And if the area that you've broken is designed to have flexibility in it, it's going to hurt a lot more. Whereas when I broke my leg, like I had like two metal rods, mm. two titanium rods in my leg. So I think, oh, I don't know if they're titanium. It might actually be surgical to be awesome. I don't know what they use. I always tell people they're titanium because it sounds posh. Well, I do. I have titanium knees. I have two titanium knees. Is it titanium knees. Yeah. Use? yeah, because Someone they... Someone told us it does it's surgical steel, but I was like... No, they actually gave me a card that says that I have titanium parts in my body so that when I go like to an airport or the courthouse where you have to go through the metal detector I set yeah. the metal detector off so yeah, I always yep I always approach it with my card in hand letting them know that I've had knee surgery and I have titanium knees yeah sometimes if I'm feeling adventurous I'll not bother telling them <laughs> I'll let the metal <laughs> detector go off and then they get the big wand out and they're like I'm like I've got a, I've got metal in my leg, yes. and they'll wand my leg, and they're like, "Can you lift your pants up so that we can?" I'm like, "I'll do you one better," and I'll literally just, I'll, I'll already have shorts on underneath, and I'll just drop my trousers. But like, there you go. You just <laughs> drop. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 No!" I'm like, "It's okay. I've got shorts on." Because <laughs> normally when I'm going away, I'm going to see my parents, and they live in Turkey. Uh, my grandparents, they live in Turkey. Right. So. I, I'm already kitted out to go swimming pretty much when I get off the plane because I'm like, it's going to be hot. So when I know the plane's about to land, just before the seatbelt signs come on and stuff, I'll take like my tracksuit bottoms off and like my comfies off and I'll I'll take my jumper and my jacket and everything off so that I'm just like t-shirt and shorts. Because there's nothing worse than getting off an aeroplane, which is taken off from somewhere like where I live, where it's freezing all the time. Landing somewhere hot and then being covered in like 16 layers of clothing <laughs> and just sweating buckets. Mm. So I'm like, no, I'm clever. I put some shorts on underneath so I can like strip strip my pants off on the plane. But I'm not obviously naked. Because that, that could 
end up in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so our pre-plan. Oh, how did the tree fall on us? It was already on the floor. But yeah, so when I'm feeling adventurous, I'll just I'll not bother uh, pulling out the card. <laughs> I'll just let the alarms go off. But it's a bit more dangerous now because uh, all the UK airports now are like high, high alert. Mm. All the time. It's which I suppose it makes you feel a bit safer. And I. I know a lot of people that I've spoken to, they get quite scared because they're not used to seeing like police officers walking around with like machine guns and stuff like this. But I'm kind of used to it because even from being a small child, I've been flying into like Turkey airports like nearly my entire life. And every, as soon as you get off the plane there, there's somebody with a machine gun pointing at you. Well, not pointing at you, but like standing there with it ready in their hands, just put like pointing towards the floor but you know that in a split second it could be in your head uh, so I'm used to seeing that it doesn't really phase us whereas most people over here like they're not used to seeing people walking around with any type of weapon never mind these giant guns so it can be a little bit um, what my cousin calls a squeaky bum hole moment when you're sitting there and you realise, oh crap. <laughs> well. mm -hmm. Casper is fun. so bad. Casper said you broke your third leg. He's so bad. I mean. And yes, you I can fix someone. you can fix a broken third leg. Ask the what's his name or his wife cut it off. <laughs> What, what was her name? Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that? I, I've never heard of this. But, uh... Oh, yeah. You never heard of that? There was a woman over here that was scorned by her husband, and, and she waited until he was sleeping. She cut it off, and then she went down the road, and she literally threw it out the window. Oh. So when the police, you know, came by for this tragedy... They had to go looking for the poor guy's leg <laughs> and take it to the hospital so they could sew it back on. Oh! Can you imagine? Oh God, that no, must that I must. Don't, I, I don't. I that, don't want to. That must have hurt so much. Oh! But I guess he had a habit of you know getting his pleasure without asking permission, and she was getting tired of it. So. Well. Yeah. Just because you're married doesn't give you the right, you know? No. If the girl says no, 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 no is no. Married or not. Oh, there it was. Yeah, Bobbit. Thank you, Deanna. Yeah, it was the Bobbits. <laughs> so oh. oh, God. That was so hilarious. I mean, it was bad enough that she cut it, but then to take it in the car and throw it out the window? <laughs> yeah, that's it's not good. <laughs> Poor cops had to go looking for it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would be traumatized enough as a police officer having to see the scene of the crime. Yeah. Never mind then having to go hunt for it. I'll tell you, it had to be a pretty... Pretty sharp knife. Oh, yeah. Unless she didn't mind sawing it back and forth. I don't know. I think he would have woke up before she'd managed to do the deed if it was a blood knife. Yeah, it had to be a sharp one because, yeah, it was gone. And, yeah. And he has to be a pretty heavy sleeper as well. So, woohoo, we have our first house. First worker house, anyway. I need a place down. I had to go get more logs. I didn't have enough logs in. Yeah, I finished it off for you. Thank you. I want to place down a compost. Place. I wish they had a, a much, uh, a lot more rocks that I don't have to run two miles down the road to get rock formations to get more stone. Yeah. But I, that's, it is the way it is. Right, so there's a compost bin. 
I will place down. Uh, workstations long. I need twelve points. Yeah. Yeah. I'd imagine every news station carried that story, not to mention every newspaper in the world probably covered that story. But realistically, though, I always wondered, well, how the heck do you sew it back on it so it still works? I mean... Very, very carefully. Did he have to pump it after that to make it work? I don't know. That, you know I, I mean... Seriously, I'm I'm serious. Probably little blue pills. Well, apparently, he had a lot of women after that too. I mean, he because they showed pictures of him being in hot tubs with, you know, women and. Oh, I was gonna say something there, but that's a bit crass. I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I caught myself just in time there. I was. <laughs> it's gonna have one of those moments where you say something you wish you could take back instantly. <laughs> My body is stinky. I have to go submerge. Oh, I'm always stinking in this game. Submerge myself in the water and get myself cleaned up. But I'm I'm going to solve that problem because I've put down two wash tubs. One of them's going to be for making things rot, so that we've got fertilizer, and one of them's going to be full of water, so you can get a nice bath in, and you don't have to keep running into the leak. I just gotta make. I'm picking up some stones at the minute, but then I'm just gonna make um, a bucket. Which I forgot. Oh, I didn't want that, dumbass. No, don't. <laughs> Oh, I know that was it. I need to make a workshop. Finish the work. This one. This one. And if your inventory is getting a bit full as well, you can always empty it into the resource storage. Because it bugs me sometimes when you've got to scroll halfway down a blooming page to find something. Right, there we go. How many planks is it? Yeah, I can imagine that would take a long time, though, to fix that. Do you want me to put the fishing spears in this resource bucket, too? Or do you want me to put them in the house, bu house storage? The only thing I normally use the house storage for is for, like, yes, summer and winter wardrobes. Oh, okay. Everything else I normally just stick in resource storage. All right. Uh, let's, actually, let's just make all four. So that made four buckets. Now, when we kill foxes and stuff like that, uh, do we um, 
Do we cook the meat up in salad or do we just put it raw in a box? Um, I would cook it up um, and stick it in resource storage for now until we get food storage because Vill that stuff you can um, let the villagers eat, like the raw meat. Right. But uh, the cooked meat. But then things like the the better foods and stuff you can sell them for more money. Uh, let's get that one. <clears throat> no, I highly doubt that, Casper. If the man takes his wife by force, I don't think he's kind of a guy that wants to go the other way. <clears throat> she was just tired of saying no and him doing whatever he wanted anyway, so she cut it off. <laughs> she probably thought that part was the culprit. <laughs> I mean, it's not laughing matter. He could have bled to death, but still. Yeah, apparently he had a habit of coming home drunk, you know, and, um, and then he wanted to you know, to have fun, and she said no, and he did it by force. On more than one occasion, apparently, and she was just tired of it. Well. I mean, you don't mess around like that. Especially when you're sleeping next to them. Mm. I have two, 261 coin if you want me to give it to you because you seem to be going to town and, and buying our, our clothing for winter and stuff. So if it would help for me um, to give you this money, I, I can do that. I've got all the money in resource storage. So oh. If there's anything you need to buy or anything like that. Actually, I want to grab those apples. Apples. I think I've got some apples. And yeah, I'll put the money in resource storage. Yeah, I want to grab those berries and stuff and get them. All right, I'm going to go way, way down the river here to get more stone. I know there's rock formations, and I'm not going to sit here and pick up 300 stones when I can just chop away and get limestone and stone at the same time. That's okay. Did you want me to go to the mine that's up here and mine it, or no? Um, I mean, <clears throat> you're, but, uh, I'll take you up there. Uh, I'll take you up there in a bit, and I'll show you how I normally do it. Because I normally take a load of pickaxes and just go mine the whole thing out in one go. Um, but I think we'll need about six pickaxes. Um... And I'll show you how to spot the ores as well. Uh, I don't know if you've done that yet. Yeah, my, I, uh, I, I went to this mine. That's how I know oh, where it is. I went to it oh, on my okay, single go game. For <clears throat> go for it, everyone. <clears throat> and next time you're back at the village, let us know. And I'll take you to recruit a villager. Just 
Oh, I didn't make a bow yet. Darn. Look at all these nice deer I could be getting. Actually, that's something we could buy in town when we've got a bit of spare money. We can get some nice recurve bows. Once we've got our uh, winter wardrobe sorted, and we know we're not going to freeze to death. That's that done. All the walls. Oh, I found an Easter egg uh, yesterday in the back of my kitchen cupboard that I completely forgot about. What was it? Uh, it was a Terry's chocolate orange Easter egg. Mm. I bought it. For, I bought it for myself, but. I didn't want the kids find. <laughs> oh, you mean in real life you found an Easter egg in your yeah. closet? Oh, okay. Yeah, found an Easter egg in the back of my cupboard because I bought it for myself because it was uh, Terry's chocolate orange on it, and I know the kids would have wolfed it down without a second of thought uh, if they'd found it, and I wouldn't have been able to see no of them because I mean it's Easter, it's chocolate, and I had enough to share it. So I was like, I'm going to hide this one. So this one's just for me, and I completely forgot about it. And then I was clearing out the cupboard. Yeah, yesterday to see what I've got and I found it and I was like mmm yeah easter egg and no I wasn't being nasty the kids had plenty of blooming easter eggs oh yeah I bet <laughs> like I spent a fortune on easter eggs for them and I was like this one's definitely mine oh shit did I break my knife and not make it? Oh, and now he's hitting me. I killed him with my hands. Oh, that's another thing that I found out. You can punch rabbits to death in this one. I just punched a fox to his death. <laughs> yeah, I, I see a, a rabbit and it, it, it was running away, but it was running down the path that I was going down anyway. And I caught up to it. And I had nothing in my hand. And I thought, oh, what's the chances? And I punched it and it just died. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> That's one way of doing it. I suppose when you think about it, rabbits are pretty easy to kill in real life. Yeah. So, punching a rabbit, probably. Not that I'm condoning people go out and punch rabbits. But, I'm pretty sure that if you punched a rabbit, it, there's a possibility you could kill it. Because they're not very big. Ooh, I unlocked a kitchen. Yes, we can make a kitchen now. Yes, look at all these lovely stories. Hey, Korak! <laughs> Monty Python. How you doing today? How late did you stay up playing Icarus?
I got uh, talked into playing Enshrouded last night with Drunken and his buddy. <laughs> so it was like midnight when Drunken says, okay, stream's ended and I'm going to bed. And uh, and then I sat here thinking, oh, I didn't make the thumbnail for today's live stream, so I got to make that. And then I caught up with Korak mm -hmm. and I talked to him until like 1.30 or something. <laughs> I'm like, I got to go to bed because I have a live stream tomorrow. I don't know if I'll get up. Yeah, I've done that plenty of time. But it's interesting, though, because I found out that he had been to the state that I live in, you know. And uh, oh. you just never know. You could have bypassed each other on the road and never knew it. Yeah. You could have walked past them on the street. Yep. Oh, you're playing on a server for Icarus? Kill enough rabbits. Casper says kill enough rabbits and a big rabbit will hunt you down. <laughs> That's all right. Then that I killed a big rabbit too. He'd give much more meat than the little rabbits. Yep. Small rabbits do. Oh no. Maybe you should get some more sleep. <sighs> I know I have to go in a little further to see the stones, but I kind of thought. Actually, if you're mining there, you'll get loads of normal stone as well as ores. Uh, just twigged. Yeah, but. And that... But you'll need to. Uh, I would suggest you uh, uh, chop down a few trees. Mm hmm. Because pickaxes take logs and stones, and then while you're mining, when your pickaxe breaks, as long as you've got logs on you, you'll also have stones from the mining. Then you can just make a new pickaxe. Yeah, I made like five pickaxes before I came in the mine. Yeah. I think it's about five, six, depends on the condition of your first one that you'll go through. I think my torch blew out though. I might have to make another torch. Just need four axes. I'm chopping down a load of maple trees so we can have a load of logs. All right. Come on now, put your axe in your hand, you bonehead. There you go. 3 a.m. Is it 3 a.m. where you are, or was it 3 a.m. when you went to bed after playing Icarus for the night? It's 3 a.m. in the morning now. You best get back to bed to get some sleep. <laughs> Oh, I found it. I found a wagon. Ooh, there's a camp here. Wine oh, I think it's funny. It says 3 a.m. Is that a good time for ghosts? Because Casper's in chat. I would imagine that's why he's saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Our ghost only goes after Pop Tarts. He's harmless. Oh my God, Casper! It's three a.m. There, Are you st he's still waiting up. Any word from the missus yet? Okay, I got to turn it around. That's the way I came in.
Deanna, do you have the little one today? Thinking maybe she has the little one, that's why she's not in voice chat. Not possible. Oh, okay. Can you believe an hour went by already? Has it? Yeah. It, it, it's just, it goes too fast. It does. It does. It goes so fast. But that's because we're having fun. How much fun are you having? What are you doing? I'm chopping down trees to build more of the things yeah. that we've got printed. How's and daughter d an, what? I found an abandoned campsite to read as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are fun. How's the daughter doing, Deanna? Maybe what we should have done was go get the uh, the lumber worker before he came in the cave, because then you wouldn't have to be chopping those trees down. He could be doing it, right? Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd still have to chop down a load of trees. <laughs> oh. Are you going to try and find him a wife right away, too? Well, yeah, what we'll probably do is, uh, I mean, it might even be a, the, a girl that's better at production, mm. and we might get a man who's better uh, at extraction, even than a man who's good at um, some hunting or something. And then we can just get them both to work. I mean, we've got one house, might as well fill it with two people. Right. Make the most of it. The daughter that lives at home with you yet is the one I was asking about. I'm not good with remembering names, Deanna. I'm lucky if I remember my own name most of the time. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, at least she's content staying out of your hair, though, right? Is that the. <laughs> she says she's being nutty playing with her toys. Well? That's an easy day in my book. As long as she's happy. Yep. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we all have our moments, though. You know? We all have our moments. Oh, I had my elbow, resting my elbow on my desk here and uh, causing my pinky and ring finger to go numb. That's kind of odd. Yeah, that's 
That's what a lot of people who don't do a lot of gaming don't realize. Like you sit, it, you end up with these things because you're sitting in the same position for so long. Yep. And things start to go numb and things. You gotta re remember to move. I'm really bad for it. I was playing and shot it last night with Drunken, and we were uh, cutting down trees, and then he wanted 300 more planted, and uh, kept hitting the E key, you know, after knocking these trees down, using the E key to pick up the wood, and it got to the point where I said, oh my god, I wish they just had a pick up all button, and it would just pick up everything, and... <laughs> Because my finger got so tired from hitting the E key to pick this shite up. And then to plant so 300 trees. I am, some games like that, I'm glad I use a controller because it's yeah. a lot more ergonomically designed. Is it? Uh, well, it, they're specifically designed to be held in your hands and you're, you're not putting any weight on your hands. It's not like a keyboard where you're, rest, you're normally resting your wrist on the desk and you're pressing keys or you, you might have a wrist rest and you're resting on that and stuff and you're putting pressure on it whereas the controller it, it's mobile you're not actually putting any weight on it mm -hmm. so you can just rest your arms on like yeah on your legs or you could have them up in the air or you rest them on your stomach you can rest them wherever you want and just and be what's comfortable i've been known to play video games lying down like on the sofa, lying on my side, <laughs> like kids. Yeah, I've been known to be found doing that. So you can get yourself into a nice, comfy position, and you're not putting any stress on, like yeah, any particular joint for any length of time. So because there's nothing worse than when your fingers and stuff start to go numb and stiff because you've been like literally sat in the same position <laughs> pressing the same keys over and over and over again. The only downside to controller is not every game is controller compatible, but there are ways around that. Oh, that's nice. I I don't it's been a long time since I crafted any macros for a game. The Korg says that he has the extra uh, mouse button ah. and he set it up with a macro so it does. It repeats the key 10 times in a row. Yeah, yeah that would be a lot easier too. I'm not very That's good at doing, idea. I'm not very good at doing macros though. <laughs> you know, I didn't go through all my pickaxes already, did I? Well, apparently you it's... You probably uh, did. They, they go pretty quick. I think I got all the maple trees. What was that one for? I think I'm starting to get a cold. I can feel my sinuses starting to bung up. Time for a preemptive limb sip. That's what it is. Pick up your axe, girl. Yeah. I mean, I could make, like, batch files for, you know, like, DOS and stuff. I used to love doing that to make things start up when I turn my computer on. But I haven't done anything like that in years. And those were just... Different. Really? For what? Played 100% dirty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm about 70% dirty. But I'm pretty sure I'll get dirty eventually in this cave. I've got turned around and I can't remember which way. <laughs> Back home. Where's the map? Okay. Yeah, this is the way. So what do you think oh, of it, Chris? Korak, what do you think of it, Chris? You play it almost every night that I see. Also, Jimmy, this game has auto run or auto walk. Yeah, you told me uh, to turn it to a toggle. Yeah, that's that's that. But this has, do you know, in Icarus when you press a button and it'll just keep walking forward. Yeah, this has it as well. Which button? Do you have to set it up, or is the button already set up? The button should already be set up. I will find out for you what button it is for you right now. And um, that one, settings, control, no keyboards. You got to. 
Double click left shift. Double so click. double press the left shift. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that funny? Well and that's then cool. While it's while it's auto walking, if you press shift again, it'll auto sprint. So I don't use it very often, oh. but I just used it then. I thought, oh yeah, I should tell her about that. Does that does that take endurance? Um, it will take stamina when stamina is switched on. Okay. Did I? Come on, my torches go out that fast. Unbelievable. It's dark in this cave. Good thing there's no bats in here, though. Yeah. I don't need bats. Okay, now I got myself turned around. I was making a left to go down the left side of the mine. I know I got to the other end already, but I know that there's another. I usually go stay to the right and get the everything, but I might have missed that one. I'll just double check to be sure. I missed there. I don't know if I can make the standing torches yet. I don't know how to. Uh, I have so many points I can uh, I can apply, but I don't know where to apply them. And <laughs> um, the standing torches is a schematic I think. I'll have a look and see. Yeah, I have skill points. I can spend uh, two skill points. Um. um hand Oh no, I think it's a standing torches. Lighting. Standing torches is a schematic. No, you need a linen thread for them, so we won't be able to make them for a little bit. Mm, so I can't increase the level there yet. Uh -uh. So out of the. <clears throat> Uh, I think it's production. No, it's extraction. Yeah. What? Oh. Are you on about your skills? Extraction knowledge. Do I get all three for extraction knowledge? Yeah, I normally do. Because then it makes your future levels easier to get. Let's see. I have three points to spend in survival. Survival. Um, what have I got? Uh, I've maxed out survival knowledge. You've got the survival sense. Uh -huh. And then... I would probably... For tier 3... Uh, less food and water. Higher alcohol sources. Uh, faster movements, speed more. I would say either survivalist or water dancer. And whichever you feel like, because alcohol resistance, you're not really going to need that unless you actually decide to drink it. So. I don't think I passed anything. Oof. I have to keep going to the left. I went to the right coming in, so I'm going to the left going out. I don't see anything shiny. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I could do all those things. Oh, I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> I think I've actually gone through this whole thing. I'll be looking at my inventory. Let's see. Copper, we have 66. And iron, 44. And tin. Tin was usually the least amount that I got in mine. Come on. Keeps snapping back on me. <clears throat> now you said this cave won't um, regenerate now until the next season. Yeah. I have a map that shows the different caves on the map, but apparently the person that made the map, why is that doing that? It won't let me see the tin ore. 46, okay. Um, the person that made the tin map said that only one of the cave is mineable. That's not true. I was told you could mine all the caves. Hmm. I don't know. It's a bit strange. I would have thought if they're going to put a cave in the game, it would, they would all be mineable. We'll have to go to the other caves and find out. I did not hit all this rock on the way over here, so why is it telling me it's not ready to hit, be hit again? That is strange. Okay, Deanna says she mined all the caves when she played, so maybe the guy doesn't know what he's talking about, but I'll share the map with you so you can see where the other caves are located. Because Drunken told me that you can mine all the caves. He said they were all mineable. Resource storage number two unlocked. Oh, <clears throat> uh, what? Got resource storage number two already. Well, I'm hitting a lot of rock, doing a lot of mining and stuff, so I don't I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know the game that well. It'll be helping. It won't be hurting, so... And you said the building just fits over the existing building, right? Yeah, I'll show you when you come back. Well, I'm headed back now. Um, right, so we've got that put down. I just need to put down fishing hut. That uh, Borderlands 3 game I see you playing, Deanna, what, uh, what is that? Is that another survival game or is that a shoot 'em up game? Seeing these spruce trees on the way back, so I'm hitting a couple of them. Yeah. Oh, um, the Borderlands 3 game that you play, is that a survival game or is that one of those shoot 'em up games? I see you playing it every now and then.
Oh, it's a shooter game. I'm not really good at shooter games. Yeah, I'm not really good at them. That's why I kept getting killed in PUBG. Now that's a, and that other game that they played where they were hiding and and like fixing motors or something. That's another game that I don't think I'd be really good oh, at. Either. That one scared the pants <laughs> off my. I had to, I didn't like that one. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to play that one efficiently. <laughs> Bones is just, is is really good at that game, but nah, I could I could do it. Uh, it was I kept getting killed. And when I wasn't getting killed, I was running around screaming because it was just kept chasing us. It was, it was horrible. <laughs> what was that game that, that was that PUBG that you guys were running away from, like a a reaper or something? Or there's like one person no, supposed that, to. That was Dead by Daylight. Oh, I think. yeah, I don't think that's a game for me either. <laughs> I've there's some battles with some awesome. Yeah, that game, I, I, I wasn't its biggest fan, put it that way. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, it's, it's definitely a, a, an acquired taste, that game. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I found a thing that has two wooden cups and two wooden plates in it. A sack laying on the ground. I need to find some stones. Okay, so that's empty. What do you got in you? A cudgel and an onion. Eight onions. Ooh. A cudgel's basically a big stick you whack people with. Like a bat. Yeah. I don't know why they call it a cudgel. I suppose that's probably what it was called back then. Yeah. These days it's called a big stick. <laughs> a bucket? Oh yeah, I'll take that bucket. Nothing else. I gotta offer me anything else. No. Mm -hmm. Is that the one I got? Okay. Nothing else here. I stopped to pull out of my bow and I don't have a bow I can pull out. These deer <laughs> these deer were teasing me. Yeah. The DS aren't too bad either. You've just gotta remember which one you've hit and kinda of track it because they only take a few shots. Yeah. But they don't tend to stop moving for very long, so it's quite hard to get a decent shot at them. You gotta sneak up on them and make the shot count. That's for sure. I found that out. Yeah. Especially with this gear, like when you're uh, about to shoot, like when, you, when you've when you drawn the ball, it, your hand starts shaking. So you yeah. might get a good aim. But there is a skill in the hunter tree, I think. Yeah. That uh, reduces that yeah. speed a little bit. Well, instead of trying to hit them where they stand, I am I wait until they move a little bit, and then I point the bow in front of their face, knowing that once the arrow gets there, it should probably hit them in the right spot. Yeah. That's what I did for the moose, too. Ugh.
Ooh, look at all the wabbits. I think you might have gone past the village. Yeah, you have. I'm hunting wabbits. Uh, I was just... Uh, I was just looking at it and all of a sudden the numbers on the arrow were going up. I was like, I don't know if I should just gone past her. No, I went across the bridge and I know I shouldn't have gone across the bridge, but there's so much meat running around here. That and I seen yeah. a, a house over here with a bunch of, so I was kind of hoping I could yeah. look at the barrels. Those, are, those houses are normally good for some good loot. A cover lit. I found over 200 coins. I should put it over 200. Yeah, 231 coins so far. Oh, what was that? Oh, just a spell. Harry Wine. Ooh, he's gonna have a party. <laughs> oh, all those sacks are empty. Bummer. Actually, I should probably go into a village and sell all this. Ocean of Sobriety. Oh, must be for somebody who gets drunk. Needs to sober yeah. up. Poison, stone arrows. Okay. Oh, another 150 coins. Jackpot. What are you? Oh, it's only 4%. It ain't going to last long. Here. In the back of the house. Nope. Compost bin. Let's go sell this stuff and see if I can get with some old winter clothes. Oh, another 107 coins. I wish you. Three tin bars. Your chicken's clucking somewhere. Ocean. Ocean. Is that a bow? Ah, oh, it's at nine percent though. Bummer. Poison arrows. Is that tackling I hear? Oh, <gasps> well, I heard it inside the shack, but now I don't hear it at all. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Come here, bunny. Don't, don't run away. Where'd it go?
bunny disappeared. Oh, he's down there. Alright, there's more spears down there. Found another bucket. More fish. More coins. Ooh. Oh, rabbit, you live another day. I'll be sick. Oh, you think that? Yeah, but being crouched won't let me. Is a real slow, you know. I can't go as fast crouched as I can running. He's telling me if I'm crouched, I can get stabby stabby and better with the rabbits. I don't know. I have to try it. I have a tendency of not being able to keep up with them when they run away. And the bow is just not steady enough for me to try and catch a rabbit or a fox with it while they're running. You know, I shake too much on the bow. We need that other power to make it so that it's more steady. Well, I've also put a recurved bow in your chest at home as well. Oh, you did? Yeah, so that should help you a little bit. All right, enough of this rock picking. Bores me to tears. <laughs> Is that a zombie symbol, Casper? Sometimes you have to move low and slow. You like the zombies. Uh. How do you like to do your hunting in this game? Um, Normally with a bow. Do you have any guns in this game? Um, I don't think so, no. Really? Yeah, well, I don't think I had many guns in medieval times. They do have crossbows, though. I've not used one yet, but... I would guess they would probably be a bit more powerful than a b normal bow. Hmm, don't have any planks. So, it takes 12 planks per section, so that means it takes 48 plants planks per house? Yeah, but each log will give you two planks. Uh, what do you got next here to this? Is this the hunting lodge? Ah. Uh, yeah. And that herbalist hut? Yeah, I've just 
built all of the ones we're going to build, we'll probably not put work as in. Well, well, what are you going to put next to the resource storage area? Um, we're going to put the... Actually, I can unlock that now. I just need to build a temporary farm pot. And then I just gotta hold up this. Um, I need to make a hole. And then I can unlock where the food storage. What does the excavation shed do? That gets your stone and clay, and I think copper ore. And limestone, I think. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Come on, unlock the storage. There we go. Food storage unlocked. New building unlocked. Food storage number one. Ooh. There we go. Got rid of that. Building, storage, food storage. Hmm, don't know, I need more, more. Do you want the clay cups and stuff like that in the kitchen or do you want them in the resource thing? Um, resource. There's another 539 coin. Oh, I found an iron knife. It's not 100% though. The ores, do you want me to put those by a smithy? Um, we don't have it yet. Just just put everything in resource storage. Okay. And then once the food storage is up, I'll um I will put the stuff in the food storage that needs to be there, but then everything else just goes in. Um feel.
And I think I got everything. If not, I'll have to check again. I'll make the meat. Alright, how many fields is left? There's seven, and there's one, two, three. So I have eight, nine. So I need two more fields. Oh, come on, hit R. I'm hitting R just guess I wasn't hitting it right. Hey Digger, welcome to the stream. How you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you over at um Drunken Dragons uh lately. I've been over there playing at night. Actually just helping him gather resources and all that really. I mean last night we did the hollow hall. The first one for his buddy, but other than that, we really haven't done much. Roasted fish in here. I don't have logs. I have to go cut trees again. That's probably majority of this game. Actually, I will place this path and then why don't we go get somebody to do that for us? Yeah. Right, I'm coming. Let's go. Yeah, I hear you. Life always gets in the way sometimes, but such is life. You ready to get your first villager? I suppose. Let's go. I'll beat him into submission. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're looking for somebody who's good at extraction. So can you remember how I showed you when you look at them and press Alt, it shows mm -hmm. their skill? Mm hmm. So we're looking for somebody with a level 3 in the first one, which just so happens to be her. Um, let's see if we've got... He's good this, at farming. This one's, a, this one's a chicken. She, the chicken thing. She's farming, uh, right? Farming. Yeah. yeah. So I would say... We need a decent hunter. This one. Oh, at least they're all level 2. I would say if we get this woman, because she's good, she's a level 3 at, product, uh, at extraction, so she can work in the woodshed. So what you want to do is you want to hit E and talk to her. Mm-hmm. This, if you want to speak with me, wash off that horrid stench. Okay, I have, oh, I have right, to go okay. clean myself in the water. <laughs> <laughs> She called me stinky. Yeah, I'm a bit dirty too. There we go. How can I help you? And then you want it number four. We're creating a new settlement. Sure, I had a lunch uh, or a conversation with and like great. See you there. She said, sure, I had a hunch our conversation would end like that. So I said, great, see you there. Right. Now what we'll do 
is I'm going to show you how to set her into a house. So, if you come with me, and then what we'll probably have to do is go to a different, but I will actually, the season's not, yeah, well, I'll probably run over to a different village, because I know exactly where they are, because we'll have to be quick and try and get it before the season ends. Um, and we, I'll try and find a man who can go in the hunting. So, if you hit E on this sign. Attempt, okay. <clears throat> and then, where it says empty tenant. Yeah. If you click on that, <clears throat> you'll find the woman's name. I can't remember what she was called, Godfried or something. Um, it won't let me click on it. Press F. Oh, it might be E for you. No. Try double clicking. Ah. E and then. There, on the, yeah, on the left where it says Godfrey, you put her in there. And then F, manage assignment. Hang on a second. Oh. I don't know what to do. Oh. Uh, right, so... Double-click on the empty tenant on the left. Uh, right, even. On the right-hand side. Right okay. Side, empty house. And tenant. then... Double-click on that. Okay, and then click on her. And then double-click on her name. Accept. Yep. Okay. And there you go. Now this is her house. Okay, so this is her house, but how do you assign her to do something? She has absolutely nothing to do. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go in your menu. And, um, and let me just quickly do it. So, uh, uh, management, and then I can tell you exactly that. So you want to go people. Like, All right, right, right. Okay, so you're going to go to management. Mm -hmm. And your thing, I'm out of it now, so you can get into it. Okay. Then you want to go on, you'll have a list of people's names on the left. Right. Click on her. Yeah. Um, you might have to double click. Double click. Okay. Yeah. Then it has, on the right, it will have where she lives. And then underneath it will say job. Double click on that. Okay. And we want her in extraction. Yeah. Put her in the woodshed, the, the first woodshed. Just double click on it and accept, and then she'll be assigned to the workshop. Uh, woodshed, even. Um, okay, but I double clicked on the woodshed. Now it says empty slot assign worker. Yeah, double click on that. Yeah. And then double click her name again. Yeah. Um, it won't, it's not doing it. Try coming out of it, and I'll have a look and see if she's been put in. Um, yep, she's assigned to the woodshed. So if we walk down the woodshed, she should be in it, right? I don't see her. So, hmm? The woodshed next to the water. How did I end up in the water? I don't know. But yeah, if you click on this sign, you should say I need him. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that means she's working there. Now, if you click above on on the right-hand side, where it shows that she's working there, yeah, uh, just under management, you've got a magnifying glass, and then you've got a couple of other symbols. If you go to the one just next to the magnifying glass... Okay. And you see how there's some sliders next to wood and planks and things like that. Right. 
Just put that all the way up on the on the log. Just put it at a hundred percent, and then that'll get out producing some logs. I'm gonna turn all these logs into firewood. Doesn't have a tool. There's no yes. tool. I'm gonna put um, a couple of stone axes in the box for her, and then she'll get the work. Um, I have a couple on me I can put in there. Uh, yeah, you kind of. What am I missing? Stones. Yeah, because I've got no stones on this, actually. So if you could put in a couple of stone axes in the resource storage, I'm going to put this firewood. Don't you put them in her box at the workbench? You can do, or you can put them in resource storage. Resource right. storage is like a central storage thing that they can kind of like, it's like wireless crafting. Stack in there. So she's got firewood. I'm gonna have to put some food and some water. <laughs> uh, where's the wood? Put that in her house because the food storage isn't done yet. No, that's not her house. That's your house. There you go, there's just fully fed. And she'll get to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna quickly run to another village and see if I can, f oh, actually, oh, they might still be around the campfire. I'm gonna try anyway. And see if before the season changes, I can get with someone to go in the hunting and then they'll be able to feed everybody. Well, they'll be able to get the meat. We'll still have to cook it. But we'll see. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Uh, this is going to be a tight one if we make it. But worst case scenario, we don't uh, we don't make it. We get teleported back home. <laughs> well, Can't be that far now. I can see the village. <laughs> in flicker and lights. Come on. Can we make it? Well, now that we have a worker at our village, aren't we going to have to put one of those campfires out with seats so they can sit around after they're done working, too? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that put down um, for them as well. 
it's not massively important. It just helps their mood and stuff like this, but it's good to have. Plus, they see hilarious things. Yes, they're still at the campfire. Right, so I need a dude who can hunt. You can hunt. That's so lucky. Uh, you are diplomacy. You're hunting and production. Right. So I'm just going to quickly do this one. Okay. Uh, you. There we go. We got him. Um, management. You can live in the house with her. And you're going to be in the hunting lodge. And then I'm going to go Sometimes I get a feeling that to the hunting lodge. And I'm assigning you to make meat. Maybe I'll try to add some silver to his last item. Some leather. Something like the crackling of the coals of fire to make you forget you're sleeping outside today. Uh, we don't need help getting feathers. There was this guy the rest can be me. There we go. And it, then all we've got to do to make sure he can work is have some stone knives in resource storage. And then he'll go out and hunt for us. So yeah. Alright. Ten knives. So you... Ten knives enough to start with? Uh, a dozen. Uh, if, like, I normally just make like five tools because they tend to la they last a lot longer than our tools do. But uh, basically any that you put in. Ooh, and we unlocked a smithy. Which means we now have the ability to make copper tools. I just don't like conversations about the weather, crops, Once it's built. Animals, children, politics. And we'll buy the schematics. Are you just going to wait to be teleported home? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Actually, I'm going to go see if there's any resources in the village that we might need. Is that stealing, though? It, it's temporarily borrowing. But if you get caught temporarily borrowing, it... Oh, we got sent home. <laughs> yeah. I managed to borrow three planks. Well, it's probably a good time to stop here, though, because we've been yeah. at this two hours, and Hubby's coming home for lunch in two minutes. Yep, perfect timing. So if you just want to put those knives in either the oh, yeah, yeah. hunting lodge or the resource storage. You're in the storage for resource, okay? Oh, there you go. Uh... So nice. Uh, only one person can get in on this game. I know, that's a bummer. If it's multiplayer, yeah. they should share it. Actually, I want to see what kind of food you put in her house because. I just put some roasted meat in. And a, and a bucket of water. Okay. Yeah. I need and to. And then I once just... food storage is set up, you just put that all that stuff in the food storage. And then they'll pull it from there. So. Once this is built, which we'll focus on next time. But yeah, so that's great. That means he's going to do the hunting. She's going to collect a load of logs. And so now we'll need to find a farmer next, right? Because right, didn't you lay a farm out here on the ground? Yeah, I ha we haven't set it up properly. But yeah, we'll get a farm shed put up. I've still got the orchards to, to lay out and things. And then we'll have a farm hut. Um or farm shed, or whatever it's called, and they'll take care of the fields, we'll have a barn, and then we'll have donkeys, and pigs, and all of those things. So, yeah, we'll get a farmer, but I think the next one that we'll probably need is actually someone in the excavation shed. Yeah. Because then they'll get with the stone, because at the minute we really need wood and stone. Right. And then to keep the villagers happy, 
they just need food, firewood, and and water. Which water we've got buckets, we can manually fill them if we need to. Um, food, we've already got a hunter, so we just really need someone to cook it. So really, the next two will be the excavation shed and the kitchen. I'll put half of my stone in the box and half of my sticks. Yeah. There. I don't have any logs, fortunately. I have to go cut more trees and stuff or whatever. Well, to be able she's to finish going those. to work. She's at work now, so we should get 40 logs per day. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> I'll just have a quick look, and then I'll show you how to. And he's going in the hunting lodge. Yeah. And he will produce... 3.72 meat a day, one leather, and one and a half fur per day. That's not much, though. No, it's you have not, but you can assign a second hunter, and then those figures will go up as well. All right. But we've only got two people, and they don't eat that much. Plus, we can top it up with some berries and stuff like this. All right, yeah. guys. Uh, Hubby's home here for lunch, and I didn't get to spend lunch with him on Friday, I think it was, so I'm going to... Head out. I want to thank everybody for coming to the live stream. I want to thank Kemp for doing the live stream with me. Because without him, none of this would be possible. <laughs> Casper, it was so nice to have you in chat again. I hope the missus gets well and comes home pretty fast. And I hope it's not too serious. Deanna, Corsac, um, Lizzie, who did I miss? And Digger Payne. I appreciate all you coming here. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. If you're not a part of the the subscription here please hit subscribe and um until next time i'll see you soon kemp and i decided that we're going to do this again on friday right kemp yeah so we're going to do this on friday so you have uh advanced notice so until then you take care be safe have fun and i'll see you soon hey bye kemp bye. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs>